Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Very you? good. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. A little tired, but the weather is nice. I like the weather today. It's a I'm... little cool there. It is. Not so much, but at least a little bit. It's been raining during the night. And during the day, it has been cloudy, so it's been a little fresh. How about in your oh. city? No, teacher. Here, here not, no, not being rainy. Not at all? Really? No. Oh. <laughs> yes. Maybe at night. Road. But how about I last night? Road. It didn't rain? Uh, last night... No teacher. Anything really? Oh my gosh. I thought it would be, it would be raining, I thought. But well, maybe tonight. <laughs> maybe tonight. I yeah. So. I hope so too. Very good. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. How are you? I can see only two people with the camera on. What about the others? Camera on, please. I want to see you. Hello, hello, guys. How are you? Uh huh. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I am in road to my home. Okay, be careful, please. Yes, I am on traffic. Oh my god! I am gosh. stuck in the traffic. Sorry to hear that. I hope you get soon. Okay. Yes, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, guys, traffic is terrible, right? Oh, yes, the of time. Course. Oh, mm -hmm. every time. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what can we do. Imagine, and our country is so small, and we have so much traffic. But anyway, um, we have a lot of cars. <laughs> yes, that's the yeah. irony because we say oh. no, El Salvador, we don't have money. But come on, <laughs> there are a lot of cars. <laughs> Uh, okay, but anyway, so look at the bright side. It's Wednesday, <laughs> so we are in the middle of the week, and uh, we are finishing one more month. So today is the last day of May. We are starting a new month. Is your birthday in, Ju in June? Anyone? No. Me Nobody. No. Oh, so no party on June. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no. so, but it's Father's Day. So, guys, if you are father, let's be ready. It's your turn to celebrate. All right. Now, it will be Saturday, I think. Saturday yes, is Saturday. Day? Really? Yes. Yes. 17? Yes. Ah, okay, yes. pretty good. All right, yeah. so guys, let's be ready for that. Now, how is the platform going? Uh -huh. Good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and only, only Virna says good. Guys, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the ones who has already the camera on. I'm glad to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. What was the topic that we were studying yesterday? Do you remember? Yes, we're talking about the connector. Also, the uh, the phrase uh, the phrase connector. Mm -hmm. When you speak English, 
Very good. For example, I wouldn't like to say this or change. So yeah, we were talking about certainty or uncertainty phrases. Talking about uncertainty, um, certainty phrases. Our certainty phrases. And let's see, let's see if you remember. Can you tell me some of the phrases that we studied yesterday? But don't look at your notebooks, just with your mind. What were some of the phrases that we studied yesterday? I doubt it. Doubt I it. doubt it. <laughs> yes. Doubt it. As far as I know. As far as I know. I Very good. I unlikely. A very unlikely. Very, mm -hmm. very unlikely. Yes. What else? Not to my knowledge. Good job. Not to my knowledge. And there was one that it was like the longest one. Ah, uh -huh, do you remember? Yes, the longer I need to read, I wouldn't like <laughs> to say this for certain. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Okay, pretty good. So those were some of the phrases that we studied yesterday. So always review the vocabulary, please, because... If you don't memorize them, you won't be able to use them, okay? Now, I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Can you see it? Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Pretty yes. good. Okay, so today is May 31st, okay? We are always in the week number three, unit number two. And the topic that we are going to study today is sample of checklist to hire a 3PL provider and discuss, okay? So we are going to have some practice about imagine having a company, imagine that you need to hire a 3PL provider, how can you do it? What are some of the problems that you can have? And also, of course, we are going to continue practicing some vocabulary of phrases that you can use in order to speak a little bit more, okay? This is our class objective. A volunteer for reading, please. Uh-huh. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Sample of a checklist to hire a GPN provider and discuss class objective. Participants will be able to sketch a basic plan to select a GPN provider. Thank you. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Now, first of all, let's try to remember what we studied yesterday and where the expressions of uncertainty. As you mentioned, we studied, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, right? This is when you are not pretty sure about something. Then we have the next one, not to my knowledge. I had a question. Can I translate this phrase as no a mi conocimiento? Can I say that? Or what would be the best translation? What do you think? Do you it remember? Be, could be. I was I wasn't in the last class, so for me it could be. No que yo sepa. <laughs> no que yo sepa. Okay. What about you guys? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yes. yes. Yes, that's the one. So in this case, remember there are some phrases in English that we are not going to translate it literally. We need to find the way that we say it in Spanish. So what about the next one? As far as I know, how do we say that in Spanish? Hasta donde sé. Aha, very good. Hasta, Hasta donde, donde sé. sé. 
hasta donde tengo entendido, right? So, those are some phrases that we use when we are not sure about an event. So we don't know exactly if it is true or not. Also, we can use I doubt or I doubt it or it's very unlikely. What was the meaning of unlikely? Poco probable. Exactly. You don't have a lot of possibilities. So, but what is the opposite? What happens if you do have a lot of possibilities? Instead of unlikely, what can we say? Do you remember? Nope. In this case, you just need to remove the on. And you can say it's very likely. So likely, positive, a lot of possibilities. The opposite, unlikely. You don't have a lot of possibilities. Now, just remember that if we want to use these phrases, don't forget, if you are writing, you need a comma, okay? After, I would like to say it for certain, comma. Uh, not to my knowledge, comma. Uh, as far as I know, comma. But if I'm using doubt, do I need a comma? Yes or no? Uh -huh, no everybody. Not no, in this case, we don't need comma. Exactly. We don't need it. If I'm but, using it's very unlikely, do I need a comma? No. No commas. Okay. So this is important when you are writing. For example, if you are writing an email or a letter or a text message. So yesterday we were talking about some scenarios and the idea was to use those phrases. So I'm going to interview some of you just to see if you studied the phrases. I hope you did. Okay, let me start with the ones with the camera on because my goodness. Oh, but the ones with the camera on are listeners. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me start with ta -ta 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 Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So tell me, Adriana, what do you think? Tell me about the next pandemic. When is going to happen or where it is going to happen? What do you think? Hmm. Um... I think that maybe it's not possible to have a very exactly date or place, but as far as we know, um, it's probable. It's really, really probable that we're gonna have a future next pandemic. <laughs> and it's a sad new, but we need to be prepared maybe for this is gonna happen. We don't know how and when, but it's possible. It's All right. So, what is the uncertainty phrase that Adriana used? As far as I know. She as said. far as I know. Pretty good. Adriana, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Jamie. Thank you. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Hello. Hello. Okay. So, Jamie, let's see. I want to go out during the next weekend, but hmm, what do you think? What is the weather going to be? Uh, I believe that the weather will be rainy. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I think it's very likely that the weather will be rain, um, but uh, I think, or if not, it's not to my knowledge, 
uh, what is the weather? Uh, the weather depend or you place a specific? Your specific place. Um, that's all. <laughs> All right. What was the uncertainty phrase that Jamie used? Likely. Uh -huh. Aha. Yes. And what was the other one? Not to my knowledge. Pretty good. Yes. Yeah. So, Jamie, you even used two of them. I like that. Okay. So, this is the way, guys, that we can use those phrases. All right. I know that at the beginning is difficult because we are not used to. Most of the time we always say, I don't know, or I'm not sure. Hmm. So instead of saying those phrases, we can try to include the uncertainty phrases to our vocabulary, okay? And always try to include them when you are speaking. Any questions so far about this vocabulary? Uh huh. Anyone? Just teacher, can you share it again? Because I need to take a screenshot because <laughs> I didn't get it for to be honest. All right. Uh, this... <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks. You're done? Uh, yes. Okay. Perfect. So practicing, please. Try to memorize them. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego, are you there? Present. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Very good. Um, Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay, eh, Germán Alexander. Eh, Héctor Francisco. Present. All right, Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzmán. Oh, I think he's listener too. Um, Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay, Holman Girón. Present. Okay, Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay, Magdalena Escalante. Present, teacher. Okay, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay, um, Oscar Armando. No? Okay, Rosalina Alvarado. Present, Miss. Okay, very good. All right, so let's continue now. We are going to start the practice for today. Now, before this, before sketching the plan, if you have a business, we need to remember the 3 PO. I know that is clear, yes? The three options, one or the first party logistic, the second party logistic, and the third party logistic. Is it clear that concept? Yes? Yes, teacher, yes. Everybody, yes? Yes, teacher, it is clear. All right, excellent. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to work in teams and I want you to think about your own business. I want you to invent what kind of business do you want to have? Now. I want you to think in the possible needs that you can face when you have this business. And you have to prepare or select what kind of party logistic do you want to have? You can decide if you will have a second or third party logistic provider. So remember that in the second, I mean, you just need one more party. If it is the third one, you need to hire more. In this moment, we are going to omit the first one, okay? We are not going to use the first. 
you can pick the second or the third one. Okay? How are we going to do it? I'm going to give you an example. This is my business. Um, be careful with the microphones, please. I'm listening to some background. Thank you. Okay. This is my example and this is how I want you to do it. First, pick a business. My business, the name of my business is no more than 20. That means that I'm going to pretend that I sell products online, that they, they are very cheap and they I mean, I don't have products for more than $20, okay? They are pretty cheap. So what are my needs? Okay, my needs is that I don't have a warehouse, okay? I don't have a place where I can uh, keep my products. So in this moment, I'm using my house, but I'm running out of space. Another problem that I have right now is that if I want to deliver the product, I have to use my own car. So that is difficult because sometimes I had to travel to San Miguel the same day I need to go to La Libertad. So it's not working. So basically, I mean, the demand is growing. I need to do something. So according to these issues, what do you think? What would it be the best solution? Do I need a second party logistic or do I need a third party logistic? What do you think? Uh -huh. Any ideas? I think that you have two, two problems or two need, need is, uh... needs. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You have to need the warehouse and the delivery. Okay. I think that you have the you have to use three PL ah. third part because um, you have the, uh, a warehouse for for the product for keep your product and then you have maybe um, using a uh, transport for delivery or something like that. Or deliver Pretty the product. Pretty nice. Sounds good. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, teacher. In my opinion, is is third party logistic because because we need a, a warehouse and we need to deliver. Pretty good. Exactly. So that is exactly what I want you to do. Okay. First, pick a business. Explain what's your business about. Then I want you to identify your needs and then look up for solutions. In my case, yeah, definitely. I need to rent storage. So I need a third party logistic because I need a place. Okay. And I need a place in my city because in San Salvador it will be more expensive. Also, I need to hire transport. So I'm going to hire the Trans Express at El Salvador. That is a company that is going to deliver the packages in all the country. So that is exactly what I want you to do. You can invent about the companies that you can hire. You even say another name. Now, I can see some people lift their your hands. Magdaleno, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. My my question is if we have to choose one business for for team or one business for each one into the team. No, one per team. Okay. Yes. So imagine that you are colleagues. Imagine if there are three people in the team. Imagine that you decide to put together a company. So you have to decide, okay, what is the name of the company? What's the company about? Identify the needs that you have and then look up for solutions. Depending on your needs, that is the kind of party logistics that you are going to hire. If it is going to be two 
or three. Now, important, you can tell me how you can resolve the issue. As I said it here, the solution, okay? I'm going to rent a small store in my city because in San Salvador it's expensive. So I have one party logistics. So um, also I hire transportations company. The name of the company is Trans Express. They are going to deliver my packages in all the countries. So in the end, the ones that I'm going to hire is the third party logistic provider. So similar to this one is what I want you to do. But in the end, guys, you decide. If you don't need a third party logistic, perfect. You can use the second party logistic. Okay, so please explain me your needs and explain me the solution. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, it is clear. Thank you. Did everybody understood the activity? Todos entendieron la activity? Yes? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay, seguras? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, very good. I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp's group and we are going to work in team. Um, we don't have a lot of time, so please don't complicate too much. Sometimes we take a lot of time just in deciding about what kind of business we are going to have. So keep it simple, don't complicate too much. Now, just let me to create a groups. One second, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, one moment. Okay, let's go to work. Yeah. Hello. 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 Oh. Is anybody there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, Rosalina. Who else is alive in this room? Oh, uh, yeah. And right, and right yes. now, I use my pajamas for You're that. I turn ah. off my computer. Sorry. I'm so tired today. But <laughs> here we are. A, a company what, right now. <laughs> yes. What would you like to uh, to sell? Food? Mm. No. What do Sorry, you say? what? Erika, food? For food. Or service. The, um. the, the <laughs> is easy. Could be food, could be food. Like okay. a delivery food. I had delivery food. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. we have, let's see how many people do we have here. I have Erica, Rosalina, very good. Nelson, are you there? Yes, teacher. Excellent, so we have Nelson too. Uh, Isabel Hernandez, are you there? Mr. Hernandez, I want you to participate, please. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that he's not there. So guys, participation is important. So yeah. always do it. So we have three people because uh, Nat uh, Natalie is Lucy? listener. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you have to do it. You can do it. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and Nelson, what do you think? My goodness. <laughs> I, agree with, I agree with you about food delivery. Okay, food delivery. Yes. Oh, what kind of food? The easy. Don't don't complicate it. Yeah. Dessert. What do you think about dessert? Dessert. Yes. Okay. Dessert. Yeah. And the price? Yes. 
Okay, could be the search for um for be uh, for um, for companies for events or just to direct direct the uh, ah, consumer. Good question. For uh, suppliers or for customer final customer. What do you think, Nelson? Uh, for supplier. Okay. And you, Erika? Maybe 3PL? Yeah, for me, 3PL, it, it's, it's okay. Uh -huh, because say supplier and oh, or, consumer. Yeah, the uh -huh. Yeah, we can have different retailers. Yes. Uh -huh. Could be, um, for example, uh, with I have troubles with my delivery. Your delivery. Need, yes, I need delivery. I need delivery for 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 make a chain between my business and the the customers. I need a deliver, and I contract. I I need to. Uh, I need. I need a outsourcing for deliver. Okay, but just just for outsourcing for delivery, no no water harvester. You don't need water harvester because you have a water harvester or you have the 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 space with water and and just you yes. need a distributor uh the I, the final customer. I am a distributor. Okay. I need a deliver. People who 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 deliver <laughs> who deliver my product from my warehouse to the the consumer customer. Oh, yeah. Okay, what yeah. is the problem? Problem. Problem. My problem is I don't. Oh, I don't. I don't have delivered. Yes, this is your your issue. You don't have a, a delivery, but yes, 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 yes. where is John? But I... why do you why do but you can use the apps, for example, the pedido ya, for example, you can mm, use maybe that one. My own delivery. Okay. I don't have my own delivery. Mm -hmm. And I need I need to move my product my product I need to move my move my product uh, please help me. Yes, you need to move your product by direct to the customers or or you need to move another uh for example retails or or no the customers. No, the customer. Okay, you need to move the the product that you that you have at, at the final customer. Specific place to save it probably because two it's different food. places. Or maybe the place that we have is not is not enough for the products that we have, and maybe we have problems with the the conditions, and because of that we we have we lose a lot of product because we don't have a a good warehouse. I don't know. <laughs> is that... hey, hey. We are going to have a retail store, or we are going to sell trove online. I, I think retail. Mm. I think uh, we, we can we can sell online. We can start in that online. Online. Yes. It's less but, expensive. Mm -hmm. It's possible uh, if we have a, a store. Uh-huh, it's very expensive we're because we're, we're going to pay. have to pay. 
Yes. Uh huh. Maybe, okay, so um, we have a warehouse or not? <laughs> Sorry, if I yes, yes, we I have. Think, think, <laughs> okay, okay. Thing is necessary. So we don't need the service. We just need to the the transport. We have a warehouse, but we don't have. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, warehouse like outsourcing, maybe. No, outsourcing is uh, um, for distribution channel, I think. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you have a, a, a work, Adriana have a work, Jamie have a work, oh, each, each one. Uh, have a work. And we can we, we don't have uh, time for uh, I'll say for transport transport the, the, the product. For me it's necessary outsourcing for for distribution dis, distribu distribution. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that solution? We get we we get the then the when the people ask for the product, uh, yes, we can take the note and say it's necessary uh, travel the product to um, Santa Tecla City. I think we can we can because we haven't time. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, da, 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 da. We did. <laughs> and how about okay. Holman? I want to listen to Holman's opinion. Holman is here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So Holman, I want you to participate. Okay. We have no time to deliver. We have a house with this. We have the right conditions. Let's see. Uh -huh. So in the end, are you going to pick two-party logistic or the third-party logistic? To, uh, we we think about this. Deep, deep I think I think through three PL because we need a warehouse and we we need transport and we need delivery. That's right. Delivery. Delivery is the word. Delivery. Okay. I okay. try I try finding my mind. <laughs> delivery. <laughs> Take a note. Delivery. 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 Okay. Okay. Delivery. Uh-huh. We can separate for dogs and cats. And freeze for yeah, cats dogs and things. Cats. What do you no think more than... about the price? Uh huh. More or less. I don't know. Maybe ten dollars. Yeah, maybe ten dollars for each. Mm -hmm. Okay, could be. Yeah. Yeah. You no, see, cheap, but no, then some is the engineer. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I'm okay. dying. So. But I. So. I, I Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, you, Erika. No, go ahead, you. Uh, talk. I want to you, Erika. You can do it. Talk. No, you, Nelson. <laughs> I need to, I need, we need to order the, the context. Okay. Okay. Rosalina and I bake the cakes. Yeah. We have we the factory the about. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, Nelson, are the supervisor of uh, distribution logistic. Logistic, then, yeah. And we are growing. Mm -hmm. And we need, uh, we need, I no, no, we need. Yeah, um, outsourcing. Yes. 
to for hire delivery. an outsourcing for the mm -hmm. delivery. For delivery because you don't have more. And then you okay. need to come. Yes. You need to more people, uh, more uni, more uh, transportation okay. and something. Mm -hmm. We need, we need to have a warehouse too. Um, not uh, really because it's the, the product uh, is, uh, you, you need the product to- The has to, to be fresh. fresh. Yeah, yes. fresh. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe it's a- uh, The person that Pedidos ya, you have to pay pedidos ya is a fee because they 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 are a, a fee. Yes, mm -hmm. it's I think that around it, twenty percent or seventeen percent that you yeah. sell. You can use your your own app, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. associate with pedido cha or Uber Eats and just pay when have a order. Yes, or but you one. have yes, I know, but you have to pay uh, a commission or a fee for them. It's is around what if, seventeen what is, or what is the other option that you suggest? Associate. Associate. Associate with pedidos ya or uh, Uber Eats. Uber Eat is it like that. Yes. Uber it is with yes. S with, at the end. With I S. Think. Mm -hmm. With S at the end. It's. It's. It, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Give me, give me a sec. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's like that. We have a little trouble with grammar associate with double S with what is the problem here? H W H E T I think I T W H I T is not I don't know. W -H. I, I, I think that is the is the language. Actually, he's right. Wait, he's oh. right. <laughs> what is what, the trouble? In okay, what happens that, is that your computer, if you look at the bottom, it says Espanol Mexico. So that's the reason why when you type in English, it's always going to uh, do like the error. So you had to pick exactly English from United okay, States. Okay, I have to I have to select the text. Yes, everything. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Hi, uh, Newton. Hello. <laughs> okay. And it is, yeah, it's correct because it's the name that they. And it's they, in Spanish. Have, yes, it's in Spanish. It's the name that they. they come what is the name of this this sign? Two commas. What is the name? Teacher. I'm sorry, I was muted. Uh-huh, what do you say? What is the name of this sign? Quote. 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 Comillas. Quote. Quote. Exactly, yes. It's like that? Quote. No? Like? It's uh, with Q? 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 Um, Q. <laughs> I think oh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of blind, so I cannot <laughs> see it. I'm sending in the chat because uh, I cannot read it. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's like this. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, Q. Q. Quote. 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 Mm -hmm. And just one t shirt, apostrophe oh, in English. Apostrophe. Oh, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Instead of Thank say you. apostrophe, we just, we just apostrophe. That's the only apostrophe. Thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Very good. So you finished, guys? You're done? Um, yes. To church. To the mm. client, maybe. All right. I'm going to check the other team. If they finished, we are going to go back to the main room, okay? So be ready. Okay. Mm, okay. Yes. What are the... All right. You are ready, team? Are you ready? I think they sure. Yes. <laughs> what happened? I, I don't see you guys so convinced. I... <laughs> okay. yeah, but no no prepared uh, presentation teacher it doesn't matter <laughs> i mean i just will ask it's not necessary if you have a presentation of powerpoint or not the important thing mm -hmm. is that you can be able to explain the information okay mm -hmm. pretty good okay. so do you have all the information ready mm. yes yeah, only two Two minutes, two minutes. Or you call the main, the main room. Okay, I will check one more team. If they finish, we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, so, okay. Hurry up. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Community. It used to mm -hmm. happen mm. a lot, so don't, don't be afraid. But, okay, <laughs> okay we are growing. Yeah. We need, what do you think, Rosalina, if we hire uh, through an outsourcing a woman who can keep the maintenance or to keep the kitchen clean? Mm. What do you think? If we okay. can hire an outsourcing mm. for Maybe. just to clean? Or to keep them, I don't know if, if I know the word maintenance, my maintenance, but I don't know how to say it. Maintenance. 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 Or a maid, I don't know if a maid is correct. Maid? Maid, maid is for cleaning. Like a maid? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Like a movie, Julia Roberts made. <laughs> M M I. Okay. <laughs> what kind of movies do you watch, Rosalina? <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay. You ready? No. Uh, I, Not I yet. also miss. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! What happened? We are thinking about. Uh, actually, we choose our business. We're going to bake cakes for pets. Yep. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I like that. <laughs> Rosalina That's... and I going to bake it, and Nelson going to be the delivery man. But oh, we're wow. growing. We are growing. We need more deliveries and a person who going to be in a specific to clean the the kitchen that we work in. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Do you have one more minute? <gasps> one more minute? The other teams are ready. The other teams already finished. Not really? But, but okay. in, in, that, in that case, think about it, the words and the meaning and something. But Teacher, how, how do you say maintenance? <laughs> <laughs> like a mantenimiento, maintenance. 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 With the end at the middle, at right? The end? Yeah. Basically, we don't say maintenance. No. Maintenance. 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 Oh, my. Uh, I hate grammar. Uh, the one more. Like okay. <laughs> Yep. No, come on, learn no. it. Maintenance. No, <laughs> maintenance. Actually, but... saying maintenance is easier than saying maintenance. Oh, right? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maintenance. But I never understand what, <laughs> what I say maintenance and maintenance. No, no, no. I know. I but I think that people that are learning Spanish, <laughs> they wonder why do we say 
color de hormiga, <laughs> right? I mean, yes. I think we are in the same situation, so. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, I will check one more team and then we go back. So hurry up, you have one minute. Okay, Okay. Okay, okay. I'm back, you ready? We done, teacher. Excellent. Yeah, ready. So during the presentation, I can ask each of you. Okay, so no. I hope. Oh, I know. Ah, Adriana. Ah. <laughs> okay, you will we, be the first one. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Yeah, I can ask <laughs> any of you. Okay, so okay. I will see if all of you paid attention on the details. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Let's go Thank back you. to the main room, okay? Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank and you. Guys. All right. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's wait for all of your classmates. Some of them are still in the breaking room, so let's wait for them. Let's see, let's see, let's go back. How was the project? Easy or difficult? Uh huh. Easy? Difficult? Uh, I cannot hear you. <laughs> difficult. Difficult. Difficult teacher. Yeah, it's a little difficult. Okay. Very and uh, use a lot neuron. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on! But you can do it. You can do it. Okay, let's go back, everyone. Okay, did everybody complete the task? Yes. Could you get all the information that is um needed? Yes? No? no? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's see. We are going to see uh, each team. Okay. I'm going to be asking individually. So I hope all of the members of the group know the information. I'm going to start by team number four. Okay. It's Adriana, Hector, Jamie, and Holman. Okay. I want to see, let me check, mm, Adriana. Okay, Adriana, explain me what's your business about. The name, what do you do? Only that. Don't tell me the needs, don't tell me the solutions, only what's your business about? Well, actually we don't have a name. We don't think about a name, but we sell organic food for pets. So it's our specialty. A special products that we sell. Mm, okay. Uh, is that product includes any kind of pets or just some pets in specific? We think about cats and dogs. Only cats our, and dogs? Yes, because it's the most popular pets that people have. So we think there is a very good market. Mm, okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, um, let's see. Hector, tell me your needs. We have a problem, teacher, because all of, all of them uh, have a work, and this is uh, uh, our, our, our um, company is, is uh, just little. Our problem is we, uh, we have a, a different work and don't have time for for deliver the product. This is our, our problem and we need, we must uh, search the solution for this problem to, to uh, deliver the, uh, the product, our customer. Mm, okay. So the only problem that you have right now is to deliver the product to the customers. Yes, for now. <laughs> okay for now so do you manufacture your own product me teacher 
any any member of the team do you manufacture uh, your product <laughs> yes or no no teacher no 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 because we we didn't have raw material for 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 make the the product we need uh wolf wolves sailors wolves, wholesaler wholesalers wholesaler mm -hmm. or forget the product teacher so you get the product you sell the products in the store or online online hmm, we are okay. e-commerce Ah, all right. Sounds good. So basically, you don't need a warehouse, do you? <laughs> yes, we need a teacher. <laughs> ah, yes. you need it. Okay. Yes. 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 All right. So, Jamie, tell me, what is the solution? Uh, the solution is to be a uh, 3PL. Uh, because we are going to give uh, to our, uh, uh, our sourcing to the transportation for delivering our product. Okay. Because we, uh, all the members of the business have cut, but uh, all uh, have, have different job and we don't have um, the time all the time mm -hmm. so this is the problem so you're going to outsource only transportation company uh, yes only the transportation so if you are going to hire only transportation why do you need the 3pl mm. members Holman, help her. We need a, a, a warehouse. Ah, so you need a warehouse too? Yes, because we need a, a, a place to, to have the, the product. The ah, okay. In that case, yes, that makes sense. That's why you need a 3PL because you need a warehouse and also the transportation. Okay, super, good job. Thank you, team. Excellent, okay, thank you. Now let's move on to the team number two. In the team number two, I have Fatima, I have Mirna, I have Magdaleno, I don't know if, it is anyone else in your team, guys, or just you? Christian, please. Oh, Chris, oh, but Christian is not here right now. I cannot see him. Okay, but Christian too. Okay, let me start with Fatima. Fatima, tell me what's the name of your business and what do you do? Okay. Um, the business? is created by Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> the name, I think, is the lake to your table. The lake? To your table. Okay. The... I saw the presentation. I think that is missing one word. <laughs> if you want, we can share a presentation. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, do it. But even though Fatima will continue talking, you can see the presentation, Fatima, no problem. Just explain me. Okay. Oh, the, business, the business name is from the lake to your table. Ah, okay. And what is the company about? The company is about uh, to the to buy the fish uh -huh. and sell to the final customer. Mm, interesting, okay. Do you sell it on the store or online? How do you do that? Um, we buy um, 
to the person, the fishing in, in the lake and uh, transport with um, with uh, associate with like um, Pedro Cha or companies like Uber Eats. Mm, okay. Sale. Yes. Interesting. Is that a real business? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher, it's the business from Magdaleno. Magdaleno is, ah. is the, the, the business from Magdaleno. Yes. It's a real business, teacher. It's a real business. <laughs> do you he have said... a, do you have a Facebook account? Yes, I have. Because you know, I need Facebook no se espia, guys, because you know, I don't know if my cell phone listened to once that you say that name in Spanish, right? And it appears a profile on my cell phone when I check Facebook and I was like, I heard this name, but I, I didn't open it because I, I didn't have the time to check Facebook, but it's, ah, that's why. Yes, it's true, Facebook If you want, if you want, you can, you can make like for me. Okay, <laughs> that's curious. Why? And, and that's why I was wondering like, why? I, I know that I heard this, but I don't remember exactly where. <laughs> My <Yeah>. gosh. <laughs> yeah. Just here. It, it's true, teacher, when you talk with another person, Facebook, uh, it's immediately recording yes yeah, yes that's yes, a little true. scary yes. okay is nice. the data power <laughs> imagine yeah. i feel a little yeah. scared now okay pretty good <laughs> now uh, mirna explain us what problems do you face yes and the business that um, from magdaleno uh, the problem that magdaleno have is that we don't have a on delivery and uh, we need to move the product from the store to the final customer. All right. So Magdaleno, what are you going to do? Are you going to hire second or third party logistic? I can hear you. Excuse me. Uh, I think that we are on second party logistics. We are a distributor and we need just one outsourcing. We need deliver. We have warehouse, we have transportation for the, for the product. And we need just one way to send to our store to the final consumers. Hmm, okay. So basically you got almost everything you just need delivery. Yes, is that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are going to associate with Pedidos Ya or Uber Eats, okay, nice. There are, there are, there are possible solutions. Mm -hmm. we, um, we can, we could, we could associate with Pedidos Ya or Uber Eats. That, that could, those could be, uh, mm, would be good. I don't. I love my idea. <laughs> good solutions. Good options. Good solutions. Good options. Good options to to this problem. Okay. And the, the second one is contract a person or a company. It is a, an outsourcing mm -hmm. for do the work. They work and delivery and call to them and say them. Hey, call me with one delivery. It is from the store to um, everyone of the client or some address and like that. And the third is hire my own delivery. Hire a person uh, and buy a motorcycle to, to distribute my own products. All there right. is the, the options. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So we got three solutions here. I like that. Interesting. Thank you, guys. Very good job. I like that. Okay. In which lake is it happening? This Coatepeque or actually, in the Lake? Actually, 
the producers of the fish, they are on uh, Ilopango's Lake. My store is in Santa Lucia, Ilopango, the Maryland city. My neighbor is out of the lake. lake. All right, lake. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, <laughs> if you need some fish, you know where you can get it. Pretty yeah. good, <laughs> excellent. Okay, interesting. Thank you, guys. Now, the next team, in the next team, I have Erica, I got Lucy. Oh, well, Lucy's listener, I'm sorry. Uh, I got Nelson and I got Rosalina. Okay. Are you ready, guys? Yes? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Rosalina, explain me oh. uh, what's the name of your company and what does your company do? Okay, the name is Nanos. Bakery, because the the company is for uh, make a dessert for pets, and the name the pets the, the Erica's pet is Nono. For that <laughs> reason, is the name of the company. Ah, okay. okay. We make a dessert, a small dessert for pets. Dessert and or desserts? I dessert. That's the one. Yeah, Something. desserts. Desserts. Okay, for cats and and. And dogs. Um, what else? Mm, uh, we we have a, a factory in, in the house, in our house, in May together, Erica and me, and Nelson has a transportation for delivery uh, to retailers. So you make your own cakes? Yeah. Oh, wow, we got some bakers here. <laughs> okay. okay. And Nelson is the supervisor of delivery. Yes. Okay, interesting. All right. So Nelson, explain me what are some of the needs or problems that you have in the business? Okay, for the moment, the needs are some. For example, we have we have to hire outsourcing for the delivery, and and also we have to to hire personally personal mm -hmm. for the kitchen because our our sales are increasing. Increasing. In, yes, increases. Sorry. Okay. Yes, that's the that's all need we have. Mm, very good. All right. So, Erika, explain me. What is the solution? We were looking to work with a people company because they hire different uh, experts from a specific uh, job. For example, in our case, we're in please our company. Just Rosalina and I bake the cake. So we need a person, personal who can bake and another one who can, who can <laughs> my, my name say. <laughs> maintenance. Maintenance, sorry. Who can maintenance uh, uh, the kitchen, who can clean mm -hmm. the kitchen actually. And because we are increasing, we need a person who check the, um, um okay the, the pedidos we can check the message or uh, I, I don't know team help her how can i say pedidos orders yes the orders okay a, a person uh, who specific gonna check the order and send it to the kitchen and we need to hire more delivery delivery months <laughs> all right so are you going to hire a second or a third party logistic i think it's a second yes second second party logistic all right yes yes actually if you just need it for delivery you don't need a warehouse, right? Because you said that you are using your own house. So yeah, you don't need a, a place to keep all the products. You just need the, 
uh, people or the company who delivers the product. All right, thank you guys. Interesting. Okay, we are going to have competitors because we got one team creating food <laughs> for pets and the other one are creating desserts. Keep in mind guys, keep in mind that you have competitors. Okay, <laughs> easy or difficult to create this analysis? What do you think? Are you ready to create your own business? Yes? No? No yet. No yet? Ah, you can do it, guys. You can do it. Magdalena already started. So, no nos quedamos atrás. Let's invent something. <laughs> All right. Pretty good analysis. I really liked it. The idea, guys, is to understand what the third party logistic is about and see the difference. Okay. So, is that clear, that concept? Yes. Yes, teacher. It is clear. Very good. Now, now that we have a company, okay, now that we already thought about if we are going to need a second or third party logistic, it's time to verify that even when we have a plan, we can have some logistics problem. Okay, so let's see some of the most common logistics problems that we can face. I have here, Look, can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes. Okay. I have here some problems, okay? And I want to match the causes. So for example, a rise in truck rates. Hmm, what is that? What is that? What would be the correct match? A rise in truck rates. I want you to read okay, this concept and I want you to match. Okay, these are the problems. Okay, and these are the causes. So I want you to match them. Read carefully. Remember, the idea is to find the correct keywords. I'm going to help you with the first one. When I talk about rise in truck rates, what comes to your mind? B. Letter B. B. Bad road conditions? Bad road. Hmm, okay, and you guys, do you agree? Yes. I Why? Agree. For me, B. Letter D, higher fuel Letter costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got the, uh, two options here. In my opinion is, is the letter B with the, we are, we are speaking about truck and rates. I don't know what means, but what, uh -huh, I don't know what I. Hmm, okay, let's analyze the vocabulary. What is the meaning of rates? Have you ever heard that? Yes, maybe in Spanish is como record. Yeah, it's we can record. say that. Or what else? When we are talking about taxes, indices or tasas. Okay, so for example, when we say, ah, la tasa de mortalidad, right? So those are rates. Or when in Spanish we say los indices. So that is range? the meaning of rates. Like a range? No. Mm, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Rangos? Oh, yeah, similar. Exactly. Okay. So okay. they are indicators, basically like tasas, los indices. So in this case, a rise, what is the meaning of rise? Go up. It's Go. like when you? Up. Exactly. Increase. So in this case, ¿qué es lo que está aumentando? Los rates in 
trucks. So, what is truck? A big car for charge. Exactly. The big. Exactly. So, those ones in Spanish, las rastras, los furgones. So, those are trucks. Okay. In this sure. case, yes. I have a question because when I saw, for example, on the internet, when you when you saw the product or the 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 comments say rate and the and the star five star four star or three star, this is race as well. The the is the valoración. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, also. For example, you can. What happens is. Rates can be a noun or it can be a verb. If it is a noun, we can use it like la tasa, los indices. If you use it as a verb, in that case, it's like calificar or um, evaluar. If you go to a hotel, for example, you can rate the hotel. You can say, ah, this hotel is 8.5. Ah, no, the, the rate of this hotel is five. Okay, so, but that is the meaning. Basically, it's just indicating something, indicating the level of something. Is it clear, the meaning mm -hmm. of the word rate? Yes or no? It's clear rates. Remember, you can use it as a noun or as a verb. But basically, they are just indicating the level. If it is up, if it is down, if it is increasing or not. In this case, we are talking about rise, so increasing. So what is the result? If we have a rise in truck rates, so, hmm, what do you think? It's because of bad road conditions, pu uh, poor infrastructure, or as your classmate said, higher fuel cost and forest regulations. Is the yeah. letter D? Yes. Everybody, what do you think? Yes, it's letter D because you talk about the, the rates or the 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 TASA. <laughs> yes, exactly. The TASA and regulation, I think that they have a TASA or in the indices for the, mm -hmm. the so truck. Is, exactly. So one of the problems in logistics that you can face is a rise in truck rate. ¿Por qué se van a elevar las tasas en, la, en el tipo de transporte, en este caso de los camiones? Ah, ¿por qué? Porque hay un higher fuel cost. ¿Qué es eso? La gasolina está... Eh, the gasoline. El costo de la gasolina. Exactly. The gas is expensive because, look, there are more regulations of engine emissions. Right, exactly. Those expenses makes a rise in truck rates. All right. Now let's continue with the next one. Capacity shortage. Vocabulary. What is the meaning of shortage? Have you ever seen that word? Not be sure. Extra point for the ones who knows that. Without using the dictionary, of course, not Google <laughs> Translator. Uh huh. Shortage is is yeah. is is a one word teacher short. Uh, shortage, shortage is a noun. Yes, it's a noun. In this Teacher, case, uh huh. I think we don't have sufficient sufficient uh product for 
or in anything. Off, mm -hmm. In this case, in this guys, case, we don't have. Uh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. We don't, we don't have. We don't. We don't have a space. A space for for um, have the product. Yeah, could be. Remember, in this case, shortage uh, shortage is like not enough, right? It's like lack. We don't have more. Imagine what happens when it's not raining. It doesn't rain during one year. What will happen? Ah, we will have shortage. What is that? Water shortage. What will be the translation? Water is not enough. Exactly. In this case, if I say capacity shortage, I'm saying that the capacity is not enough. We don't have capacity. So what would be the best match here? Letter E. Letter E. Can you read it, please? Uh, poor warehousing and storage facilities. Hmm. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> could be. Could be the letter A, because because when increase the demand, the transportation is shortage. Ah. And then, and then the the truck weight have limitation. In my opinion, it is the correct. Mm, it makes sense, but what do you think, guys? I need a final answer: A or E? E. I think that's A. <laughs> I agree with Magdalena <laughs> because you talk about the capacity shortage, and shortage is not enough, and if we increase demand. Hmm. I need a final yeah. answer, everyone. If you make a mistake, homework, <laughs> presentation individually for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Or maybe or it's over capacity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh over, my gosh. Over capacity. Over capacity. Oh. Overcapacity could be the letter A too, because yeah. it's over our capacity when, <laughs> increase, when the increase the demand. <laughs> mm. I okay. don't know because the short A is new for me. <laughs> okay, sure. let's pick the letter A. If you want to change it later, I mean, we can do it, no problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, maybe letter E because the other... Girl Maybe the E. Yes. The e. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Okay. Now, number three long delays and transit times. It, it is the, the letter B because we are speaking about transit times. Because when, when you are in traffic with the, that, could um, could be cause for the bad road condition, the poor infrastructure, infra infrastructure, and infrastructure. For especially with the bottlenecks. No. Yes. yes. So, I do you agree? agree? Yeah. Yes. At the border, say the in the borders, in the line borders, or. Mm -hmm. Like in San Salvador every day, right? <laughs> I mean, in Boulevard is... del Ejército, every oh, morning and every God. night. Okay, so letter B. Hmm, all right. Now, loss, damage, and deterioration of stock. When do we have loss or damage or deterioration of stock? For me. Letter B. Can this you repeat? Letter? 
A, B. Oh, B. B. Because the, the, we have a bad, bad street. The problem is they have a lot, I don't know how to say, problem and the, and the product damage. Mm, okay. Do you agree, guys? Confused because maybe letter E for warehousing and store facility. We can change. I mean, so just think about this. ¿Cuál es la reason de que tengamos loss or damage or deterioration of stock? ¿Cuándo es que for sucede what? eso? What do you for think? Warehousing and storage facility. Letter C, maybe. Yes. Okay, or letter C, when we decline orders and block locks in manufacturing. Hmm. We, we, could have, we could have troubles with the stock, with the merchant, merchandise, when we have um, a bad handle or we, we have a bad um, transportation, for, for example, when 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 the man who transport our stocks is handled it bad, could be. So you had to make a decision here. For me, it's letter E. Letter E. Yes. Everyone, do you agree? So we need to erase this one. Yes, change. Okay, let's change it. For me, teacher, number uh -huh. three is F, and number four is B for me. <laughs> okay, um, you tell me, guys. What do you think? Do we change it? I'm loose. I'm loose. <laughs> Clean everything and start the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, we can, we can start with the easier. No, we can start with the easiest and finish with with the ones we don't know. <laughs> Okay, example. that's a good one. Listen, we won't go to sleep until we finish. <laughs> okay, for example, if you if you see the number five, high border traffic and import taxes could be the letter F. Yeah. Surely. But but we yeah. are we are speaking about lack of international trade agreements between government. We are we are yeah. speaking about burning order could mm. be do you that. agree guys yeah yes. okay so we can say that the number five is for sure okay. yes and number <laughs> capacity is for c letter c it's easier than the other one okay so over capacity is letter c, letter c. okay i'm going to write it oops <clears throat> okay, um, let's do it like this. Letter C. Yes. Okay, so number six is for sure, right? Yes, the overcapacity when you decline orders and backlogs in manufacturing. Okay, I'm going to erase the other ones because <laughs> you're not pretty sure. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> the number the number three uh -huh. when we have delays it could be would be cause for the number the letter b with delay with the the road is in bad eyes for structure infrastructure the infrastructure is not with the time Mm, I don't know. Why not? It could be. Just analyze it in this way. Don't complicate too much. This is the problem. This is the reason. So why do we have long delays and transit time? Transit time. If I'm saying transit, what comes to your mind? 
What's the background condition? Import infrastructure. Am I talking about my house? Am I talking about a building? Or am I talking about the roads? The transportation. The transportation. Ah, so it's we can keep the letter B. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay, you got three. <laughs> okay. Next ones. Maybe number one, it could be letter D. Number one, letter D. Why? Arise <laughs> and track race. Because I don't know if the meaning of the cost of track. So it could be a fed for the higher fuel cost. If we have a higher fuel cost, we have an increase on the true rate. Of course. Think it about this way. Think about the company. If you want to hire a company to make the delivery job, if the gas is very expensive, will they increase what they want? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So a rise in truck rates is going to be affected by the higher fuel costs or for the regulations of yeah. engine mm -hmm. emissions? Yes. So yes, good effect. Yeah, so we're going to keep it like this. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, now yeah. you just have to deal with two capacity shortage and loss damage and deterioration of stock. I Number think. Two, uh -huh. Number two is letter A. Number mm. two is letter A. I heard someone else, tell me. I don't agree with them because when, when we don't have a warehouse adequate, uh, an adequate warehouse, we can lose with, with our stock because the rain can wet the, the things and damage and we don't have um, we don't when we don't have facilities adequate for for storage we have a troubles with the handle of the product in my opinion when the the stock is damaged lost or deteriorated is cause for our way of warehousing Okay, Nelson, uh, what is your opinion? Because you mentioned that you prefer the letter A for a capacity shortage. Why? Are I don't there? know, maybe because, uh, it's a increase in demand, but if you, if you have lack, lack of transportation, it can mm -hmm. affect can affect him. Okay. I agree with Nelson. Me too, because Me too. Uh, <laughs> they track weight, weight limitation, too. maybe uh, put more products inside the, the truck and then a loss and damage. Yes, okay. because you, you say stock. that it's not enough. The short age is the meaning not enough. And if you increase in demand, you have a problem in the lack of transportation equipment and truth weight limitations. I think mm. it's in my opinion. I agree with Nelson. Okay, and then the number two is A. Think about yeah. this way. Capacity shortage. Estamos hablando de escasez de capacity. capacity. ¿Cuándo es que vamos a tener escasez? Cuando tengamos un poor warehousing o cuando tengamos un increase in demand. An increase, increase in, in demand. demand. That is the key, okay? Key words, okay? So in this case, a capacity shortage happens because we have an increase in the demand. 
we have lack transportation equipment and the truck's weight limitations. Even when you want to transport a lot, I mean, you cannot do it. You have weight limitations. Now, when do we have loss? When do we have damage? When do we have deterioration of stock? Cuando tenemos un increase o cuando tenemos un poor warehousing? When is poor warehousing? That is the one. Look. So you see, guys, you could do it. Pretty good. Not easy, but you got it. <laughs> Pretty good. So those are some issues that we can have about logistic. Okay. Think about, uh, imagine in this case, guys, think about your company or think about the business that we created here. Which of these problems have you experienced? And how can we deal with them? Any idea? Have you ever experienced a rise in truck rates? Yes, no? For me, no, teacher. Never? Never. Imagine that we have a company and we experience a rise in truck rates. How can we deal with that? Any suggestions? I don't no? get you the, the question. All right, think about your business, like su propio negocio o la compañía con la que trabajan. ¿Han experimentado ese problema? A rise in truck rates? Yes no, or no? no? No. No? Yes, in my case, sometimes. And how do you deal with that? ¿Cómo puede lidiar con eso? How do you deal with that? What can you do? We, we sell the, the motorcycle and, uh, and we use outsourcing for delivers. That's a good option. We Pretty good. Costs. Okay, excellent. Now think about you. Have you ever experienced long delays and transit times? Think about when you go to your work. So every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every day. There All lies right. in since time. So how do you deal with that? How can you resolve it? Go out, Go out earlier. Before. <laughs> Go out before than the traffic. <laughs> oh, very good. Exactly. So these are logistics problems. The logistic problems can be affected by all of these ones and even more, okay? So this can happen with your own business. It can happen in your company. So the idea is try to know or resolve it. Try to identify how we can deal with it. Now, is the vocabulary clear, everybody? What is the translation for a shortage? Not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> All right, not enough or translation? Insufficient. <laughs> exactly, or escasez, okay? Pretty good. What is the meaning of bottlenecks? Translation is cuello de botella. Cool. And that happens even in, I mean, in our country is very common, right? Uh, what is the meaning of fuel cost? Cost of gasoline. That's the one. Pretty good. Excellent. So keep in mind the vocabulary, okay? Try to use it. Now, Teacher, continue. Yes? In, in further, further, I don't remember what is the means of further. Okay, that is a comparative. Anyone, do you remember? 
I remember for the more, but I know I don't remember the meaning at the moment. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Further? No. This is like when we say mayor or additional. In this case, if you say further regulation, that means más regulaciones or um, regulaciones adicionales, um, regulaciones mayores. That's the meaning in this scenario. Okay. Okay, it's clear. All right. Now, before continue, we are going to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante? Present. Very good. Carlos Abrego? Carlos? Eh, Christian Alexander? Present teacher. Okay. Erika Jasmine? Present. Okay. Fatima Denise? Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Germán Alexander? Present teacher. All right. Hector Francisco? Present. Okay. Isabel Hernández? Present. Okay. Ivan Guzmán? Oh, he's listener. I'm sorry. Um, Jamie Raquel? Present. Okay. Holman Saúl? Present. Okay. Uh, well, Lucy is listener too. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante? Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth? Present. All right. Nelson Antonio? Present. Okay. Um, Oscar Armando? Okay. Rosalina Alvarado? Present. All right. Los mencioné a todos, guys. Did I mention to everyone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's stop thinking about regulations, logistic issues, and let's talk about social expressions. These ones are very easy because some of these expressions, you already know them. The idea is not to learn them because you know them. The idea is to apply them, to use them when you're speaking. Now, I have here some scenarios and I have here some phrases. For example, calm down. Have you ever seen this phrase? Calm down. Yes, I know. Time, every moment. <laughs> So, um, it doesn't matter. Yes. Yes, it's not important. Okay. Uh, next one, get well soon. You tell us every time that we told you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, look at you. Yes. Yes. So, do you feel lucky today? Are you, lucky, are you a lucky yes. person? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Yes. No way. No way. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? No way. Yes, no way. Yes, no way. <laughs> so you see, you know the phrases, but you don't use them. Um, have a good trip. Yes. Yes? Yes. Well done. Yep. Yes. Yes. Have fun. Yes. yes. What a shame. What's the meaning? What a shame. I don't know. Any I idea, guys? Know. I am ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame is when somebody says something pretty bad and you say, oh, what a shame, yeah, right? Exactly. For example, if I say, you know what, uh, my dog that is like my child is sick <laughs> oh, and he's very sad and I had to take him to the vet. So... What would you say? Oh, what a shame. Okay. Mm. That's kind of pretty sad. Now, 
There are different contexts, of course, that we can use them. If we use it individual, the word shame, that's another meaning, okay? If you say, for example, it's a shame, the meaning can change, okay? So depending on the context. Now, we have here different scenarios. And what I want you to do is complete the sentence with these phrases. For example, if I say, hey guys, you know what? I've just won the lottery. What would you say? Hey, look at you. Look <laughs> lucky, lucky. Lucky you. Ah, lucky you. And what is the meaning? Not the translation, the meaning. Suerte la tuya. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you is like, wow, very fortunate. Okay. In the second scenario, if I say I'm off to the party, what would you answer? Yeah, well. Teacher, I don't know. I don't know what is the meaning of this expression. And this okay. expression. The expressions. Okay, everybody, have you ever seen this phrase? I'm off. When Maybe the finish? I, I, Maybe when finish is off. When we finished? Mm. Or over? No. Or when you're tired? tired and go, go out. Oh. I'm sorry? Oh. You're tired. I'm listening to a lot of at the same time. Something like tired? Mm, not really. When you uh, left the party? No. Mm, <laughs> Fatima, you were saying something. Can you repeat it? When the person is tired and go away. Mm, okay, I'm going to give you an example. You know what, guys? After the class, there is a party, okay? So um, finish the class, I'm ready to go. So guys, goodbye, good night, I'm off to the party. <laughs> what am I saying? Me voy a la fiesta. <laughs> that is the one that I'm ready, I'm leaving now. Mm -hmm. So what phrase can you use here? Have a good trip, Have a good trip maybe. Have have, have fun. fun. Ah, have fun. it much better. Have fun. Have fun. 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 Very but good. Why do you use why do you use off? Because I think when you use off, I think in, I don't know, teacher. I'm confused. It's kind when of you use out. Off, yes, when you use uh -huh. off is out or maybe tighter. Well, I know. Uh, in this case, guys, these can be like idioms or some colloquial expressions. Okay, maybe for us that we are learning the language doesn't make sense because we are always trying to translate them letter by letter. Okay, so I am, yo soy, yo estoy. Off es como, ah, off es apagado. But remember, in English, there are some phrases that we cannot translate them literal like letter or word by word in this case as i mentioned this is like a colloquial expression and the meaning is that you're leaving ya se van okay imagine if i say you are in your job and you finish your chief terminaron su horario que van a decir i'm off to my house que estoy diciendo ahí me voy. Oh, me, me voy, voy right? <laughs> Antes que me pongan más trabajo. So, I'm off to my house. That means... You can say they off. They off is not. It depends. Because if you say they off, the meaning is totally different. Totally different, yes. Mm -hmm. They uh -huh. off is like día libre. You don't uh -huh. have anything else to do. Por eso les digo, these are colloquial expressions. Okay. Those expressions that maybe for us doesn't make sense. No tienen sentido. Pero, ¿por qué? Because we don't know the language. Y así como les dije en un grupo en los breaking rooms. <laughs> así como nosotros tenemos nuestras colloquial expressions, 
que personas que están aprendiendo español no los entenderían, right? Y les daba el ejemplo de color de hormiga. Imagine, ¿creen que ellos les van a entender si les digo, hey, esto está color de hormiga? Will they understand? No. 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 Like, right? Pasame el volado. Yes, exactly. People that are learning Spanish, they don't understand our colloquial expressions. Y yo creo que las de nosotros están más difíciles, right? Esta yuca. Imagine esta yuca, right? Yeah. I like I like one phrase that is cachimbazo. I love that word because when I say cachimbazo, they always are like, what? What is that? They always think that is a bad word. So, Colloquial expressions. No tratemos de hallarle la lógica del por qué se traducen así. It's just a colloquial expressions that they cannot be translated literal. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, my plane leaves in two hours. <clears throat> have, a have, a have, have a good, good trip. trip. Ah, have a good trip. Ah, okay. So we are going to say, have a good trip. A volunteer for reading the number four, please. My interview is over. I got a new, I got the job. All right. What phrase can we use here? Well done. Well done. done. Excellent. <laughs> Teacher, I finished the platform. <laughs> <laughs> well done, okay. Mm, you know why I'm saying this, right? Volunteer for reading the number five. <laughs> it says John lost his phone, his cell phone this morning. I had all his contacts in it. Ooh, so what can we say here? What a, shame. what a shame. What a shame, right? Especially if the cell phone was an iPhone. <laughs> Very expensive. Oh, what a shame. Okay, volunteer That's number six. Good night. Yes, please. I'm afraid. I'm staying in this weekend. I got to the flu. Okay, what will <laughs> uh, what can we say here? Get no. yes. well soon. Ah, very good. So we are going to say, get well soon. We can say, get well or get better. Uh, number seven, who's next? Everybody wake up. I can see some of you are not participating. So wake up, wake up. Number seven, volunteer for reading. <clears throat> Only one, please. <laughs> okay, it says, I lost my job today. What am I going to do? I'm so worried. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Ah, very good. Calm down. Everything will be all right. Okay. You know what, guys? Tomorrow we are going to have an exam. <gasps> oh, I know. I'm so worried. No, calm down. It will be easy. Okay, number eight, volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Lend me your bike. It'll give it back to your next year. Okay, I'll, I'll give it I'll, back. Mm -hmm. I'll give it, give it back to your next year. All right, what can we say here? No way. <laughs> Very good. Imagine <laughs> until next year. Come on. No way. Okay. Number nine. What the meaning is spill, teacher? I spilled. This is like a um. Shakira songs, right? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Do you got it? Yes. I'm sorry that I spilled. <laughs> that is the meaning of that word. <laughs> you know the song, right? Huh? 
Yes. So, <laughs> I'm sorry that I spilled a little water on your floor. So what can we say there? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ah, very good. It doesn't matter. And the last Did one? Spilled, yes. A spilled will be splashed. Mm. What happens <laughs> is that, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's que splash is more, in my opinion, right? I consider it that it's like bigger, like um, when you are in a pool, maybe, when you are when in the, the river. Mm -hmm. So splash is, so it's when bigger. Uh -huh. It chill. could be with your feet, with your hands, but spilled okay. is by an accident, but smaller amount. Like when you have your bottle of water, it, drink, and by an accident, you just spill, but it's, it's a little bit. Splash is like bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I heard someone else. Do you have a question? No. Anyone else? No? Okay. Next, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, very good. Go ahead. So, is it clear these phrases? Yes. yes. Now, Miss? I want you to use the phrases. Miss? Yes? I have a question. Go ahead. In, uh, <laughs> in the world, some people, when, when, uh, when so um, activities easy say it's a piece of cake. Piece of what cake. Piece of cake is like in Spanish. What is the phrase that we say in Spanish when something is pretty easy? Pan comido. In Spanish, we say what is okay. I've never heard that. Okay, chiche. but that's another one. Is that uh, chiche? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's no, in the but that is the opposite. No, that it's for the wake up people right now. Ah, because, okay. Yeah, people sleeping. <laughs> but hold on. Just kidding. Just kidding. We mm -hmm. say pan comido. I always thought that if you say esta chiche, ah. it's because it's difficult. Or no, no, yeah. no, 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 it's fácil. Uh -huh. Man, <laughs> he vivido engañada all the years. Oh my gosh. But yeah. When you said, when you said no está chiche, it's pretty hard. <laughs> it's the opposite. Pretty difficult. The opposite. Wow. Thank Man, you. he vivido engañada. I've been and, in a and lied. You, and you with the intonation. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, people so I don't and, know if it's smart. Uh, yeah. It's not, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> the good thing, the good thing is that I don't usually use those phrases. So that's good for me, but I was in a light world. But yeah, if you say piece of cake, it's pretty easy. So it's like in uh -huh. Spanish when we say pan. Comido. Comido. Okay. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, everybody, think about different situations, right. and your classmate has to answer with these phrases. For example, if I say, you know what, guys? Um, yesterday I went to the supermarket, and you won't believe me, but I found $100 on the streets. What would you say? Uh -huh. No way. <laughs> hey, you're lucky. Lucky you. Okay. Give me the house. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, but I want. Okay, give me another scenario, please, and your classmate will answer using the phrases. Volunteer, go ahead. Only one. I'm off. I'm off to my house. Aha, uh -huh, guys, what would you say? Have a good trip. Have a good trip. Mm -hmm. What else? It doesn't matter. 
<laughs> okay. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Okay, Erica, tell us in a scenario, please. <clears throat> um, I think no, no is uh, sick. <laughs> Okay, for the ones who doesn't know, no, no is her cat. Okay, <laughs> so what we what are we going to say? Get well soon. Okay, get well soon. I hope your no no get well <laughs> soon. Cool. What else? No way. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty good. So if you see these phrases, guys, we can use them in different <clears throat> scenarios. And be careful with the tone of voice, because if you say, what a shame, it's because it's pretty sad, it's something bad. But if you say, <laughs> what a shame, I mean, <laughs> no, right? So we need to keep in mind the intonation exactly as we do it in Spanish, right? So if I say, get well soon i mean the tone of voice is serious we cannot be laughing when you say get well soon so intonation is also important now are these phrases clear everyone yeah yes yes teacher all of them we need just practice Excellent. Practice it. Practice them. Yes, because I need you guys to apply them when you are speaking. Now, we don't have more time. We are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for being in the class. Don't forget to work on the platform. And the winner for today is, yeah, Magdaleno, is you. Okay. So, uh -huh. everybody. Uh, Erika, you can stay too. Let's yes, join us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, have a beautiful night and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Erika, you can stay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> what a shame. See you guys. <laughs> good night, take care, see you tomorrow. Are you serious? Can I... <laughs> Magdaleno, do you want her to stay? I have no trouble. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I like that you're using the phrase. Nice. Thank you. What a shame. <laughs> no, way. no, don't be ashamed. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, guys, um, well, I think that your classmates are listeners. So, I see double. I know. <laughs> I saw two profiles from Magdaleno. Okay. But now it's it is one. for the, the screenshot, the um, screenshot for, for the class. Got it. Okay, so guys, you know that we are here because we need to talk about something serious. No, no, easy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Seriously, <laughs> we're serious. All right. Now, first of all, how is the platform going? That is I'm the well. first topic in the agenda. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I can see Magdalena, actually you are very advanced. That's pretty good job, I liked it. Um, Jasmine, how about you? I'm a good teacher, how about you? Hmm. Teacher, <laughs> I, am, I am waiting for waiting for an exercise, but we need, we need write that in, in the class. I understood that. Is in the end. Is in the end. I don't have. I don't have uh, at the moment. Just if you give me a sec, I can uh, find I him can. and we can check it. Yes. Yes. Okay. I am trying to enter. Okay. To enter the platform. Well, so he's Magdalena searching. For the... Okay. Uh huh. Well, he's searching. Okay. Magdalena, Magdalena is looking for the exercise, so, but I have a question to share. Mm -hmm. I have a few problems today with a customer that he was talking like a noun with an with an accent that I never heard, heard before. To be honest, yes, and and I don't know how to can I recognize that accent, but because for me. 
was not Indian, was not American, was not Chinese. I really don't know who was, where he is from and how, Actually, how can I recognize? recognize accents is difficult because I mean, I cannot give you a like, okay, if they pronounce this word like this, <laughs> they are from this country. It's mm -hmm. just with experience. When you talk, for example, from people from British, you recognize the accent. And immediately, if you talk from with someone from New York, the accent is very similar because they try to yes. imitate the British accent. If you talk to someone from the South part of the United States, the accent is very difficult different they talk like yeah. como los granjeros you know like <laughs> yes. that is the accent okay yes if you took from someone to california they talk like with hueva oh, well, like, mm -hmm. like they don't want to talk so with the experience you can recognize the accents but it's difficult for me to say ah this accent well, is from someone like this. No, it's just with the experience, with the time is that you can recognize what the accent is from. It's difficult to understand what they are talking. So yes. my recommendation is, as I always say here in the class, keywords. You didn't understand the full message, but you got the keywords. Those keywords are the ones that are going to help you. Actually, it works a lot for me because I used to talk a lot of with a collection with agency collection. And for to be honest, I don't understand the half what they say, just catch the idea and then I just answer. That's yeah. what I, I do. But uh, today was like, uh, oh my God, what is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. But just with experience. That, yes. <laughs> just, just. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 I agree. Yes. yes. They can oh be saying, God. You are this and this and this. Yes, thank you. <laughs> right? My gosh. Okay, Magdaleno, did you find it? Yes, I, fi I found that. All right. Which one? Is the number 3.5. 3 okay, let me open it. Is in the section three, dot three? Or three point. In this case, you can say point. Dot okay. is must when we are talking about emails. Okay, three point five. Okay. Five. Okay. Um, you have to type in this one. Yes, I have. Okay. So. Um, because of the time, I'm going to show you how the answers can be. Remember that when we have these typing exercises, it's a little bit difficult because they have established an answer. And if we change mm -hmm. one thing, the answer will be incorrect. So uh, in the number one, for example, one of the valid answer can be, we removed items from cartons cartons and packages as a result but look at the punctuation y aquí es un mistake basically porque tendría que haber un space entre el punto y coma the semicolon and the word as okay another option is this one and instead of the semicolon you put a point as a result Coma and then the rest of the sentence. Okay, clear. So in this scenario, what you have to keep in mind is the punctuation marks, because this is how the answer is established. Okay. So, okay. I understood that I have to correct the the punctuation of the paragraph. Is that correct? Yes. You have to uh -huh. keep in mind all the sentence. If you need the punctuation marks, which are they going to be? And just remember, if you add a point, you need to change the capital letters too. Okay? Okay, I understood. I will work in that. Side. Yeah, you don't Teacher. need to change the order. Look at this. It says only the 
punctuation. Exactly. So work on it. If if you don't find the correct answers, let me know and we can resolve okay. it too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I I did understood other thing completely different. Yeah. Be <laughs> careful with instruction. That's why we need to read carefully all the instructions. Now, okay, Erica, do you have any other question? Work the on moment, the platform, please. I'm going to try. I'm mm, going to try. Do it for Nono, okay? <laughs> he needs a responsible <laughs> <is> mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have any other questions, everyone? Teacher, I, I, I have, um, I have saving for you two questions okay. for this moment. The first one is. How can how can I use the Jerome the Jerome tense Jerome uh -huh. tense for the future? For uh, could you explain that that? Uh, so do you mean like when I say I'm going to the beach? Yeah, something like that. When I when I am saying I I am going to the beach is I am going I am in route to the beach is right because. Can I say uh, I am I am I am in the bank tomorrow? Mm. Is, that is my question. Mm -hmm. For me, I remember for me when I was learning that 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 topic. Mm -hmm. For me, going to is something that you may be gonna do, but will is something that you have to do that you are sure that you're going to do it. Well. It depends. Look at this uh, very quick because I know that it's late. Will mm -hmm. is for future, but more for far future or uncertain future. Ah. Something that you don't have a lot of possibilities to happen. Maybe you just have the 50% of possibilities. For example, I will travel to China Zero. next year. Do you have the ticket? No. Do you have the money? No yet. It's just a plan for the far future. I'm not pretty sure if that is going to happen. I just have like maybe 50% of possibilities. Pero de aquí al otro año, uff, falta mucho, right? Be going to, on the other hand, it's more for plans. You know that for plans, it's like a near future, right? Ya tenemos como más mm. details para ese plan. For example, I'm going to go to the beach. ¿Cuándo? Next week. ¿Con quién? With my friends. ¿A dónde? ¿A cuál beach? Costa del Sol. ¿Tengo bastantes details? Mm. Yes. yes ¿Cuántas posibilidades tengo de que eso suceda? More maybe 75%. Yeah, maybe 75%. Claro, de aquí a la próxima semana todavía puede que pasen cosas, mm -hmm. pero tenemos más possibilities de que suceda. For future, también podemos usar el present continuous. That is my question. <laughs> ¿Cuándo vamos a usar el present continuous? Imagine if I say, um, in my, uh, in my case, I'm giving classes uh, tomorrow, tomorrow at 8 a.m., for example. In this case, what kind of action is this? This is not a plan. This is arrangement. ¿Qué significa mm -hmm. arrangement? Es decir, un plan que ya tiene establecido, como que ya lo tengo pensado, and I cannot change it. Right? Yo ya tengo establecido that tomorrow I have to do it. Ya está arreglado. That is the difference. So, este es más cuando ya es specific. Ya tenemos el date, time, place, and the people I'm going to do it with. It is 100%. Basically. Right? Yes. Okay. And then... I, can I can I use that the um, the tense for every one of the verbs, for All example, of them. play, pray, yes. uh, work, etc. All of them, yes. Okay, the, the situation is 
please tell me. I can add every time one adverb of time is right. Like time expressions, do you mean? Yes, with that, the structure could be a uh, and in continuous present and one adverb of time it, in for this the case, future, is right? Yes, in this scenario, when you are using present continuous as a future, it's necessary that you give me a time expression because you need to specify that this is for future. Because if you say, I'm giving classes, if you don't say the time expression, or if you don't give me details, si no me dan details, voy a entender que, que en este momento está pasando la acción. Entonces aquí sí se entendería como ahorita estoy dando clases. Oh. Es por eso que en este escenario, guys, voy a necesitar que sí, me den time frame, una time expression, or details, para que se entienda que estamos pensando la acción a futuro, no la estamos haciendo en este momento. Okay? okay. Pretty good. The, is it clear? The, yes, it is clear. The last one is when, uh, when enough <laughs> as an adverb, enoughly. Can I use that? My dad, my dad start when you explain about enough people enough and colorful enough, something like that. When I want to say in Spanish, no es suficientemente blanco como para hacer esto, no es suficientemente inteligente mm -hmm. para... Le agregamos, el, el, le agregamos like el mente, así que decimos Le enoughly, that's what you mean? Yes, uh, could I use that, for example? It is not um, enoughly, enoughly um, wet. Well, be honest with you, that exists the word, yes, but it's not, not common, common to use it. We don't say enoughly because enough is already an adverb. Enough ya es un adverb, así que no, we don't use enoughly. We say just enough. He is Just not enough. enough tall. Él no es lo suficientemente alto. Ya se entiende que es un adverb, así que ya no es necesario agregarle el li. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. It's a little bit late. So, guys, we are going to stop <laughs> here. Thank you, Miss Erica, for staying with us. <laughs> hey, thank you for thank your you time, too, girls. <laughs> thank you. All right. So, thank you. So guys, good night. Work on the platform. See you tomorrow. Okay, See goodbye. Guys. See you. <laughs> Bye.